look back into the uh, past, you'll see this word used in Roman times, for example. It has to deal with uh, the purging of things. The cleansing or purging, yes. Yeah, so, and the music can be like that, so that's, I chose for that reason. But also it has an interesting sound to it because it almost sounds like illustrations. And some people actually mistake it for that when they first see it. And since I make drawings, I thought that was kind of interesting. And then the word contains the word lust in it too, which I thought would be good to throw out there. So I chose it for that. And then each one has its own subtitle based on things I was thinking about at the time that I was making the album. I recorded the album over the winter between 2012 and 2013. And so each one is based on whatever those random moods were. I think techno works best in the 12 inch format. Albums are very difficult to produce. Uh, so I think that's the reason. But it was time. You know, it was time to do one. So I won't do another one for another 10 or 12 years. So. Uh, I, think, I think part of the reason was I was concentrating on releasing on different labels and trying to diversify a bit. And uh, just the time it takes to produce an album was just unreal. So. All winter, you know, about five, five months maybe, five, six months. I think that this music is made for people to purge their, um, their frustrations with modern life. And that's why the title mm -hmm. refers to that. I think people need to, they need to cut loose and forget about the everyday problems, at least for a little while. So I, mean, I hope my music helps at least a little. No, I think the, I, no, I think the producing itself is the ritual. Yep. Making the weird sounds. You know, there's that moment in the studio where something happens with a certain sound and it only happens once and then it's fleeting, it's gone. Like that's, and it only happens when you're alone in the studio. And you kind of, you're always going for that. You, you kind of live for that moment and it's gone. <laughs> but there's a record of it because you recorded it and so you get to share it in some way but it's never really the same past that one moment like when you first hit that sound and you're like that's the one there's a lot of Korg in the studio there's a lot of Moog uh, there's a Schwemann there's so all the drum machines from Roland, the 808, the 909, the 606. There's a 303 in there somewhere. They're all there. Uh, I'm using a wider variety of machines now. And they're more complex. And there's more uh, semi-modular patching uh, in this creation of this new album. Definitely much more than the first album. So it's it's become more complex. Um, hopefully in a good way. <laughs> well, we'll start at Berghain, June 15th. And then several dates uh, across Europe through the month of July. Um, forgive me, I don't remember all of them.
means a lot because Detroit is such a um, important influence for all of us that are making this music, and I'm, I really feel honored to be here. And um, it's a it's a great feeling yeah, to be here. And also because Detroit, like Buffalo, is a, it's a Rust Belt city on the Great Lakes. I think we actually have, you know, I think, uh, you know, when I look around this this uh, the city, it, it uh, there's a fam there's a familiarity with it because it's it's like Buffalo. It has a similar story. Uh, a bag of records. <laughs> That's all. And then we'll go. It's always improvised.